Hi, this is Jason with Violet Arcana's Collectibles coming at you with another game review. And this time we're taking a look at Mortal Kombat Trilogy for the Nintendo 64. And this is published by Midway in 1996. Mortal Kombat Trilogy is a fighting game released by Midway as an update to Ultimate Mortal Kombat 3. Mortal Kombat Trilogy was exclusive to the home consoles and takes the fighters and stages from the first three trilogy of games and combines them into one package. MK Trilogy has the same basic gameplay and story from Ultimate Mortal Kombat 3 with a few new gameplay updates for this home release. Mortal Kombat Trilogy was released on Nintendo 64 in North America on November 11th, 1996. The gameplay for Mortal Kombat Trilogy is mostly the same as Ultimate Mortal Kombat 3. The fighting, combo system, two-player combat codes, and ultimate combat codes are virtually the same as Ultimate Mortal Kombat 3. You choose between Arcade Mode or Mortal Kombat, which lets you choose between four difficulty towers and fight your way through multiple fights to challenge Shao Kahn to be the champion in Mortal Kombat. Each fight is best out of three rounds with the winner able to perform a multitude of finishing moves on the losing character. Each character has multiple fatalities, most of which are the same from the previous games, but are just as satisfying as gory as you'll remember. You can also dispatch your opponent with an animality, turning your characters into a variety of different creatures to dispatch your foe. Cyrax wins. Flawless victory. Animality. Brutalities from the home ports of Ultimate Mortal Kombat 3 on the Sega Genesis and SNES are in Trilogy, requiring you to press an 11 button combo to finish your opponent off and make them explode. Some stages also allow you to perform a stage fatality, having your opponent fall to his death in a number of gruesome ways. If you feel like sparing your opponent, friendships and babalities also make a return in this game. Jade wins. Flawless victory. Friendship. Friendship. Again. Besides the arcade mode, there is also a 2 vs. 2 mode, an N64 exclusive 3 vs. 3 mode, and an 8 player tournament mode. On the N64, you can choose between 28 fighters, two of which are hidden and unlocked by codes Human Smoke and Female Chameleon. Due to the data restrictions on the N64 cartridge, all the classic versions of certain characters, the four bosses, and the unmasked Sub Zero from Ultimate Mortal Kombat 3 are missing as playable characters. The N64 does get a classic Sub-Zero that has several moves from the missing Unmasked Sub-Zero, and you can also play as the two of the bosses, Motaro and Shao Kahn, with cheat codes. Other new gameplay features include the new Aggressor Bar, which fills as you attack your opponent even if they block, and once filled gives you a small speed and strength boost for a limited time. Overall, the gameplay is exactly what you'd expect from this game if you've played any previous version of Mortal Kombat. One of the biggest flaws for this game is the cut content on the version due to data limits on the N64 cart. The PlayStation, Saturn, and PC ports of Mortal Kombat Trilogy have way more content, but do suffer from load times, which are not present on the Nintendo version. The AI is also a huge issue. Even on the lowest difficulties, the AI will punish you, especially the two bosses, Motaro and Shao Kahn, if you don't know what you're doing. Even the seasoned veteran will have trouble with the AI in this game. <laughs> the graphics look good in the Nintendo 64 version of Mortal Kombat Trilogy. The digitized actors look good for the time period this game was released, and other than a few missing frames of animation seem to be really close to the other ports of this game. The graphics on the stages look great, and just how I remembered, except for the Pit and Pit 2, which for some reason have their original sky changed to a different starry background. <laughs> Overall, the game's graphics seem to come close to arcade perfect, which is especially great due to all the other parts of the game that were compromised due to the data limits of the Nintendo 64 cartridges. Sound is a mixed bag on the N64 version of Mortal Kombat Trilogy. The sound effects sound good and seem to all be included, but sometimes can sound a little muffled when compared to the other CD-based versions of this game. The music, however, seems to suffer the most. 
the music had to be converted to MIDI due to the cartridge restrictions of the N64 and mostly sound awful. Also, some of the fighting stages have had their music swapped for the original tracks. The sound is subpar for this game, especially compared to the CD versions, which have arcade perfect sound. Fatality. The controls are also fairly decent on the Nintendo 64. The analog stick is not as responsive enough for me on the controller, but using the D-pad worked very well and I was able to pull off all the special moves and finishers with no issue using it. The button layout works well just like a 6 button pad using the A, B, and 4 C buttons. The only issue that I had was when trying to do combos, sometimes the smaller yellow C buttons made me miss the correct input, ultimately ending my combo and leaving me at the mercy of the computer AI. You are also able to fully map the controls to your liking in the options of the game if the base controls don't work for you. While not being suited for most fighting games, the Nintendo 64 controller works pretty well with Mortal Kombat Trilogy. Overall, Mortal Kombat Trilogy is a decent game on the Nintendo 64. I remember my brother getting this for Christmas when we got our Nintendo 64 and we played it a lot. Coming back years later, I still get a ton of enjoyment out of this game. My final score for Mortal Kombat Trilogy on the Nintendo 64 is a 7 out of 10. The gameplay is exactly what you'd expect from a Mortal Kombat title. The missing characters are unfortunate, but with 28 fighters available, there are a lot of options. Graphics look great and give you the feeling that you're playing an arcade version of Mortal Kombat. The sound is a huge negative and a major casualty due to the limitations in the Nintendo 64's cartridge-based system. The controls, while not perfect, work well and can be personalized to your liking. I do believe that if you're looking for the best version of this game, then the PlayStation or Saturn are your best bet. Other than no load times, the Nintendo 64 version of Mortal Kombat Trilogy could not compete with the CD-based versions. However, this is still a fun game with a lot of content to enjoy, especially if you're looking for a fun fighting game to play with your friends. Once again, this has been Jason with Violet or Comics Collectibles. If you have any questions or comments, leave them in the comment section below. If you liked the video, hit the like button, subscribe to us on YouTube, like us on Facebook, and I will see you guys next time.